Hi guys, this video is to show you the material microwave absorption. Okay, so this absorption is just considered in with one pot, okay, without the second pot, the pot two in the behind because of the metal plate here. Okay, this I will explain why we only need like one pot later. Okay, and this video also will show you like how to create a metal back plate like this in behind the material and also how to use the result to calculate the absorption okay so i will also show you like how to create the folder okay and to compare all the material in one graph okay so like the a and pc and wood okay so why is the a and pc is almost same result okay let's say we have the wood result is 0, 0412 in linear okay so if you are in db you can see like in db they are slightly different okay then we convert it to linear Okay, so for the calculation it is something like this. Okay, so this is a basic concept uh, of the absorber with the metal backplate. Okay, this is mean like if you have an absorber with the dielectric material properties. Okay, so this is the thickness. Okay, they will affect on the impedance matching here. Okay, and the frequency as well. So let's say the incidence signal they have like radiate to this direction. And try to penetrate into the absorber. Okay, they will have some is reflected. Okay, or they have like multiple absorb and reflect here. Okay, so we're going to calculate uh, how much the signal have been absorbed by this uh, absorber. So we also can explain in theory like this. That means you have the impedance from from the A. Okay, the A impedance is like three seven seven ohm. Okay, so you have like square root of the free space permeability and and the free space of the permittivity okay so you have a material so this one is the material you absorber here the zm okay so you will have the magnetic properties and the dielectric so for dielectric material right so the magnetic is equal to one so the magnetic right they are equal to one okay because it's non -mag non magnetic material okay non magnetic material okay so we only have the dielectric properties here okay so this is our impedance for our material so from here right, we have the pec the perfect electric conductor so the impedance is zero because it's sharp so let's say we know the dielectric properties of our absorber okay we can put in the value in the formula okay the dielectric properties of here and the magnetic we know is one if your if your material is non magnetic Okay, then you can use this formula to calculate the second, the impedance in here. Okay, and then we have the frequency, the frequency that we investigate and the thickness. So you also know the thickness of your absorber. Once you get your second right here, then you can put into the formula to calculate uh, the return loss in dB or you can calculate in linear. Okay, so once we get the linear result, right, we will use the formula here. This formula to calculate the absorption. So the A actually is the absorption. So it's something like this. Uh, let's say you have a material. Okay, let's say you have a material. So we call it uh, MUT, material under test. Okay, so we have a signal coming in, the incident signal. So we name it like power input. When the power input they radiate and then they try to pass through the material, they will have some reflection. Okay, so this one we call it. S1, okay, so it's same as the return loss, okay. Then I said they have some that have penetrated into the material, and then here we call it like absorption, and then some they might penetrate out, okay. But for, for our case, is we have a metal plate here, okay. That means the metal plate here, the PEC, okay. So all the signal might bounce back, okay. No signal can pass through here. So that's why we can come up with a theory like if you have like P in is 100%. Okay, let's say we have a P in uh, 100%, the input, and then try to penetrate to the material. So we have the absorption plus with the S1. Okay, so the S1 must be power 2 because it's from voltage. This one is power, so we need to power to it. So we have this formula. So that means, right? A plus S11 power 2 is equal to P input. Okay, that means 
that's why we have the calculation something like if we divide with 100 percent we divide 100 we get like 1 and equal to a plus s11 power 2 okay so if you have to calculate the a we have like 1 minus v s11 power 2 so then this come out with this formula here okay so our so from our simulation we have the wood in 4 gigahertz is 0 0.4125 so we will put in here like 1 minus with the s11 here is 0 0.4125 so here actually is similar as your return loss here the s11 okay so this one is a linear return loss we actually is called reflection coefficient and then it's same as your s11 okay so this one is your s11 so 1 minus with the refracted signal, okay, so the 100% here minus with the refracted signal S11, you will get like 0 0.8298, okay, and then we times the 100%, okay, you will get like 83%. So that means like this material of the wood is can absorb like 83% with the thickness. You can check the thickness here. With the thickness 5cm, okay, so it's here, 5cm. Okay, so let's go to the first step, how to create this. So first, you go to the new here, okay, create a file like this. And then you just set the unit, okay, so we are using the CM and gigahertz. Okay, so we will set for the simulation inside the frequency. We want to check is from 2 to 6 gigahertz, okay, 2 to 6. And press OK. So the background must be normal, okay, done. Okay, the boundary condition later we will set it then we go to create our absorber okay so let's say we create a square absorber okay we call it like MUT okay, material under test 30 cm 30 cm and the thickness of the MUT we make it like T okay for the variable so we choose the material that we want okay let's say we want to choose wood just press the view and then you can go find wood here so once you find the wood and then you just press preview uh, you can make it like 5 cm okay so this is our sample okay then press ok so that so we can just create a metal plate behind so we just click on the brick okay we create a square brick behind the absorber so you call it like metal plate okay so the dimension is the same 30, 30 and then the thickness is 0 and then we need to have like negative 2 for the metal backplate with 2 mm thickness okay go behind to the z axis here okay so you can see like preview you will have a metal backplate behind the as over so we will define the material as PEC perfect electric conductor just press ok so we have a PEC now and with the as over okay so now we need to check about the boundary condition. So we can change the SSS to electric. Okay, this is a setting. Magnetic. And then and then for the Z mean we can put it like open. Okay, so you can see like open here. And the Z max as well. Open. So they are close together. Okay, something like this. So you have your boundary condition like this. Okay, then we will set our waveguide port. So we create our waveguide port here. Click on waveguide port here. And then you create from Z. Okay, because your axis here is, is Z axis. So negative, we want to the port in front here. So we press OK. Now we have a source okay, for transmit the wave. And then we make like back, we create. And then we click on the background. Okay, so you make the distance like 100 cm. Okay, so you press apply. Okay, so you can see like 100 cm far away from the absorber. Okay, so our source is 100 cm far away from the absorber. Then we can start the simulation now. Okay, but before start the simulation, we also need to check the mesh condition. This one is the default. Uh, the higher the more accuracy yeah. okay you can see so you can see from the mesh view okay so you can see it's like how how fine for the cell okay so but for us it's just to roughly see the result right you can just reduce the cell okay for this simulation 
to check like roughly result okay they might affect the accuracy so we just press ok okay so you can see the mesh cell here is like 171 okay if you increase it like just now 15 20 and 20 okay so you can see the difference is 4 million mesh well okay so let's say we make it like we want to simulate faster so we just reduce the cell okay so press ok and then go to the time domain solver click on it okay so you choose like all port but actually it's just one port because we only have one port so just press start after run the simulation we can go to the result 1d here and then check about the s parameter so now we have our wood result for the s11 okay so we can put a marker here just click on the marker 4 gigahertz okay and then we can click on linear so we get like 0 0.4125 okay so we want to keep this result so we can click on the s11 here okay from the folder here we can right click and new okay we create a new folder we name it wood okay so we just paste it here so we have saved our data here and then next we're going to check another one is like to prove that uh, this simulation setting is correct that means right you can go to the component here okay you change the material change the material right click and then change the material to a let's say we change the material to a load it okay so now your material is a right so of course they can't absorb uh, signal okay very very low signal okay so let's try it and then we let's simulate it then let's check out what is the s parameter result for A. Okay, after finish run, then you can check the result for A is something like this. Okay, so you can see the linear is like 0 0.99 and DB is like near to 0. Okay, so we can use the A result right to calculate the absorption of A. So it's 0 0.992. Okay, let's do the calculation. Okay, so in here we can do the calculation. So let's say we choose another color. Okay, so let's say A. A. Okay. The resolution is equal to 1 minus 0 0.992 power 2. Okay, so we will have 0 0.0159. Okay, so times it 100%. Okay. We have like 1.59 percent of absorption so it's very 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 low okay so this is proven that the a they can't absorb the signal so we also can do it like if without any mut just the pec okay the conductor metal plate here okay i mean it's almost similar the result almost similar as the a because it's empty okay so let's try it so we can direct like hide the material but actually they are still there for simulation so we need to click on the MUT right click local mesh property not include in simulation so it's not considered in simulation we just untick it and untick yeah you can untick all of it just press ok okay so we will cancel our result but before this we need to save our result so we will save our S11 and then we will make it like new folder A. Okay, so we make A here. Okay, so we have A now. So again, right click and local mesh property. Then I take all. Okay, so it's not considered in the simulation, but they are still there. Okay. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so you can see they have a sign here, uh, not considered in the simulation. So we can start it for the simulation for just with the PEC here. Okay, so let's start it. okay once done simulate okay we check the result as parameter so we have the pec is this result we can copy and right click new folder and then rename it pec okay we paste the result here okay we also can create a folder like new okay we make it like call it compare okay so we can compare the a here so we name it a 
okay PC we copy paste and we name it PC okay we also can copy the wood okay and then we name it as wood okay so something like this okay so now we have like three results here right so when you click the compare you have three results so we can remove the wood first so we just click on okay, PC and A so you can see right roughly almost the same okay so it's also 0 0.992 so if you put into the formula you will get the almost same result for the absorption if without the A sample here okay so that's all for the explanation of how to calculate the absorption of the material with the metal back plate okay and also how to set the simulation okay to simulate the micro absorption for the material so you can just like recall back so you can just take back and then they will appear again okay so you want to visible you just right click and click show then they will appear again okay so why we need the metal bed plate behind the absorber because some of the application for the absorber right they have like metal bed plate behind the means if you put your absorber in the chamber room the chamber behind is metal so so you can simulate using this method okay so yeah that's all for how to calculate the micro absorption so also you also learn like how to compare the result from here you can check like the difference of the absorption okay in db and linear so you also can do the boundary setting okay so since the material is symmetry right okay our design is symmetry you can use the boundary condition click on the boundary condition you can do the symmetry plan okay you can make it like electric and magnetic okay something like this you can simulate it they will get the almost similar result okay you can try it out so that's all for this video so thank you very much guys